So days after Yemen peace talks ended in Sweden, a truce in what the U.N. calls the worst humanitarian crisis may be in jeopardy. A ceasefire is set to go into effect tomorrow in Hodeida. But over the weekend, fighting in and around the port city left dozens injured. The fighting between a Saudi-led coalition and Iranian-supported rebels has caused one of the worst famines in history. CBS News senior foreign correspondent Elizabeth Palmer was the only U.S. network correspondent inside Yemen. We want to warn you, some of these images are graphic. What makes you so confident these, the peace is going to hold, the ceasefire will hold? Because we came to the last chapter of this war and the people are fed up with us there and here. That's it. Yeah. That's it. We have to come to peace by hook or by crook. Peace can't come soon enough for these people. Some of the millions who, having run from Saudi airstrikes and fighting, now find themselves destitute, watching their children waste away from hunger. The numbers coming out of the UN are shocking. 10 million Yemenis facing hunger this winter, a quarter of a million facing starvation. What are you doing to help? As a Yemeni government, we are doing our best in trying to hold the state as it is, I mean, the institutions, but we cannot do anything. We have no gas. We have no oil to export. We have nothing to do to lift the burden. But can I just interrupt to say the aid agencies want to help you, and yet they say you're getting in the way. You're giving them bureaucratic hurdles. You're stopping them from getting their aid into the port and out. Number one, there are really some elements who are not really obeying the instructions, and we are trying to correct this. He's talking about certain rogue armed groups who've been blocking aid distribution. But aid groups struggling with this humanitarian disaster blame Houthi politicians too for all kinds of interference, like not issuing visas to their staff. In one month, if you come back to this country after when peace starts moving, I can tell you that visa restrictions will be lifted. And will aid be moving? It will be moving better than what is happening now. Saudi Arabia's airstrikes have slaughtered civilians and shocked the world. Now that the U.S. is reducing its military support for that air campaign, Sharif hopes Americans will put pressure on Saudi and its allies to support peace in Yemen. The U.S. as a, as a state, as a big continent, has a lot of influence in our part of the world. They control the weapons, they control a lot of politics in this area. Again, the U.S can, number one, ask all parties of the war to stop it. So you're saying the U.S. could weigh in to make sure the dialogue continues yes. with its diplomatic expertise yes, and or, its or military world muscle, really. Or muscle, yes. And sometimes the carrot and the stick policy works. So that sounds like uh, a sensible ask. Is it going to be complicated by the Houthi slogan, which includes death to America? We don't want death to America at all. I mean, why should we? But they say it on slogans which read death to America plastered on walls all over Houthi territory in northern Yemen. We are welcoming any rule of the United States to stop this crazy war and how by pressurizing the Saudis, the Emiratis and all the other parties from our side, we are ready to stop this war. This slogan has been directed to the administrations and the military who is helping our enemies. But it's it was, crude and it's it offensive it and is. it's not going to help you it is. as you ask for American help. It is. These slogans are being said to get some of the frustration of some people against the military who is helping the Saudis or the administrations who is siding with them. The handshake between Houthi and government negotiators in Sweden went viral. But a comprehensive peace agreement is a long way off. If there's any hope that it will stick, it's that all sides now are bruised and exhausted. We have rockets, we have weapons that can go for years. But really we get tired of this crazy war, useless war. Elizabeth Palmer, CBS News, Sana, Yemen.